While you won't be smelling pine needles if you visit the state house this holiday season, that's because this year's Christmas tree is artificial. Eyewitness News reporter Molly O'Brien joins us now live in studio with reaction. New at 530. Molly? Well, at an event promoting small businesses today, Governor Gina Raimondo says she loves and supports local tree farms. And the decision to go with an artificial tree at the state house this year was all about practicality and safety. A few finishing touches atop the official Rhode Island State House tree, but the 18 foot evergreen tree bringing a bit of controversy to Rhode Island once again. It's kind of a no win situation with this Christmas tree. This year's Christmas tree, a fake. Governor Gina Raimondo says she supports local tree farms. The decision to go artificial was based on years past. We've had a lot of trouble in recent years keeping a live tree uh, in good condition for a whole month in a very old overly heated building, so we just thought that this was a safer, more practical thing to do. The Raimondo administration tells Eyewitness News the artificial tree was purchased from Balsam Hill using remaining funds from the 2017 NGA conference. Over at Evergreen Tree and Landscape owner Larry Hindle, a member of the Rhode Island Christmas Tree Growers Association, says local farms would benefit if the state house went with a locally grown fresh tree. It would certainly bring attention to our local businesses in southern New England and particularly Rhode Island in this case. Hindle says using a locally grown tree shows appreciation for local farmers. You're always, you're always battling mother nature, pests, insects, diseases, and it would be nice if, if they would continue that tradition of bringing in a tree from a local farmer. While the governor knows the official Christmas tree garnered ample attention in years past, she hopes to use the artificial tree for years to come, shifting focus to the spirit of the holiday season. So we did ask the governor if there was any option to buy a locally made artificial tree, and she said they looked into it and weren't able to find any that fit the criteria that they were looking for. So if you're interested, that tree lighting is at the State House Wednesday at 615. In the studio, I'm Molly O'Brien for Eyewitness News.